calendar in Houston, we have good TV. Uh, go ahead with the lesson, Krista. Okay. Good morning. <clears throat> this is Krista McAuliffe, live from the Challenger, and I'm going to be taking you through a field trip. I'm going to start out introducing you to two very important members of the crew. The first one is Commander Scobie, who is sitting to my left, and the second one is Michael Smith. Now, Commander Scobie is going to tell you a little bit about flying the orbiter, and Commander Smith, or excuse me, Pilot Smith is going to be telling you a little bit about the Spock, which is the computer that is used on board. Okay, after they talk about that, I'm going to be talking about the seats and how people are seated during takeoff. Right now, going live to Cape Canaveral in Florida, here's News Director Jerry Little. Jerry, what's happening? It was July 1985, Glenn, when Krista McAuliffe beat out better than 1,000 other teachers who chosen to be the first private citizen into space. We're just minutes away from Krista's last off. A very exciting time at Kennedy Space Center on Cape Canaveral. We'll take a look at Challenger sitting on the pad. The hydrogen burn igniters have been armed. These igniters will be fired at T-minus 10 seconds to burn off any residual hydrogen gas. You can feel the excitement here at Kennedy Space Center right now, and in less than a minute we'll be able to feel the Challenger taking off. T-minus 21 seconds, and the solid uh, rocket booster engine gimbal now underway. T-minus 15 seconds. This is it, Krista McAuliffe, about to make history. Challenger, go and throttle up. Challenger, go and throttle up. 